Random Mondays, Season 3, Episode 12. Let's get physical, Part 2. Hey guys, this is Chris. I am so sorry that there is a two-part. I usually make a full video, but the reason why there's a two-part is because my YouTube capture fucked up my video during uploading it. <laughs> and it said it uploaded with two 22 minutes, but it came out to be 14 minutes. So I made the second part, and I left it at a good part, even though it was already in Part 1. But it just shows a little bit of part one and goes straight to the part two where you guys left off. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is part two. Still enjoy the video anyway, even though it's not full. Enjoy. you will got to be kidding me. What the fuck's with everybody? A murdering psychopath? Chris did it on accident? I wasted two years of my life trying to get revenge on them? Damn, I gotta put on a shot. I just want to take all random Mondays too. He forgot about that. <laughs> also, I'm the new owner of random Mondays. Chris isn't anymore. Chris sold it to me. So, uh, so you better take off that fake mustache. <laughs> More like mustache dick face. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you wasted two years of your life. So, uh, see ya. <laughs> Where's my mustache? Where's my mustache? Oh! Red hair Chris fails me. Chris is not the owner of Random Mondays. Pepe and Chris is. What the hell's wrong with this series? What the hell's been going on? I'm gonna get my revenge. Like, seriously. What is everyone's deal with getting revenge on people? Like, just grow up, people. You're like a bunch of fucking four-year-olds on, like, crack or something like that. Oh, hey there, Mustache Chris. You're back. Good to see you. And get out. Also, if you don't, you're going to take this little foot. And I'm going to shove it up your ass. Go. Fine. Ah, finally. I've had a long day. Chris! I found you! God. I was, I was starting to worry. So I heard the conversation between Pet Band Chris and Mustache Chris, and I know everything now. But you helped him kidnap me, so you could be protected. So you could join the bad side. He did not know anything about Gus. It seems like it. And it seems like you joined him fit in with Gus. Well, the, here's the thing about Gus. He doesn't work in nobody. So you're dead even though if you become the bad guy or help Mustache Chris take over Random Mondays, which is owned by Pet Baron Chris. So, uh, you're on my bad list. And I brought a little few friends over. Who cares if you know about everything? And who cares if he knows about everything? And who cares about all that shit and everything that's been going on? It's all a bunch of fucking bullshit. And what kind of friends do you have? I'm sick of <gasps> It's you. Over, we have a guy with a nice cute ass. And he's looking to be fly. But he's a crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> Toodles. I'm back, red hair Chris. You didn't wipe my memory. <laughs> you didn't. And I'm here to stay. And I finally found Chris. And we had a long conversation earlier, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Right after he helped Gus exercise. 
he told me that he escaped. So I and we both came to look after you again. And we know we you would be finding here since you left the house. So, you can call me Worth. Agent Worth. Just like the double setting. You think I could be Agent Double Setting? <laughs> like James Bond? Well, you're on, bitch. We got you both surrounded, so there's nothing you can do. And we'll deal with Mustache Chris later. Oh, and by the way, he does know that I escaped. And Mustache Chris doesn't look pretty happy with you. So, you're dead meat. Any last words, red hair Chris? Am I right, pet band Chris? <sighs> yes. So, time for you to get your ass kicked. And we're just going to leave you here because we heard, we called up Gus telling us that we're here and by the time he gets here, you're going to be the only one here. So you're screwed. <laughs> this isn't fair. It's not fair. I'm not going to die like this. <sighs> Catch me if you can. No. Excuse me, being shirtless is the new fashion. Please, please don't worry me. Hey viewers, do you want us to see us, uh, see us hurt him? No. No. Oh. oh God. Your turn, Pat Bingress. Right behind you. Sorry, man. You used to be my friend, but this is going to hurt. Time to knock you out. Oh God, it hurts. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, uh, let me piss on you. Ugh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You like that? Let me sit on you. <laughs> Toodles! I'm sorry, man, but you betrayed us. So, have a nice life. No! No, you can't leave me here! No! One hour later. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, little red-haired douchebag. You know, I came home and I see you here. Well, guess who's my next victim is? Please, please not me. Oh, not you. No, it's not going to be you. I love you too much. You're a great friend to me. Really? <gasps> Fuck no. Die! Die! Choke every last breath of your fucking breath. Sweet dreams.